we want to evaluate the limits. Let's begin by checking the form of the first limit, where we have the limit of the quotient as x approaches infinity. Actually, before we do this, it might be helpful to write three e to the power of negative x as three divided by e to the x, as well as five e to the negative x as five divided by e to the x. So let's go ahead and do that. As x approaches infinity, five times e to the power of three x approaches infinity. Three divided by e to the x approaches zero because the numerator is the constant three and the denominator increases without bound. Four times e to the power of three x approaches infinity as x approaches infinity. And five divided by e to the x approaches zero as x approaches infinity. So notice how we have the indeterminate form of infinity divided by infinity which means we'll have to change the form of the function in order to determine the limit. And we'll take a look at two methods for doing this. First, from here, if we know three divided by e to the x and five divided by e to the x both approach zero, the given limit is going to be the same as the limit of just five times e to the three x divided by four times e to the three x as x approaches infinity. With the limit in this form, we can simplify e to the power of three x divided by itself simplifies to one. So notice now we just have the limit of five fourths as x approaches infinity, which is just five fourths. So this would be one method to determine this limit. And now let's take a look at a second method. Remember when we had polynomials, one method we used was to divide every term by the highest power of the variable from the denominator. In this case, we can divide every term by e raised to the power of three x. So let's also show that method we would have the limit of five e to the power of three x divided by e to the power of three x plus three e to the power of negative x divided by e to the power of three x all divided by four e to the power of three x divided by e to the power of three x minus five e to the power of negative x divided by e to the power of three x. As x approaches infinity, and then we simplify. Five e to the three x divided by e to the three x is just five. Plus, we need to be a little careful here. When simplifying e to the power of negative x divided by e to the power of three x, we would subtract the exponents, which would give us e to the power of negative x minus three x, which equals e to the power of negative four x, which is equal to one divided by e to the power of four x which means when simplifying three e to the negative x divided by e to the three x, we get three divided by e to the power of four x. In the denominator, four e to the three x divided by e to the three x is four. And then we have minus five e to the negative x divided by e to the three x. We should know from our work below is five divided by e to the power of four x as x approaches infinity. As x approaches infinity, five is not affected. Three divided by e to the power of four x approaches zero. In the denominator, four is not affected. And five divided by e raised to the power of four x approaches zero. The numerator approaches five. The denominator approaches four. The limit is equal to five fourths. Either method is valid for determining this limit. And now let's take a look at the next limit. We have the limit of the same function, but now x is approaching negative infinity. Again, let's check the form. Five e to the power of three x is going to approach zero as x approaches negative infinity. And that's because the exponent on e is approaching negative infinity. And then three e to the power of negative x is approaching positive infinity as x approaches negative infinity. And that's because the exponent is negative x and x is approaching negative infinity the opposite of a negative is a positive. Here the exponent on e is increasing without bound. Similarly, in the denominator, four e to the power of three x is approaching zero as x approaches negative infinity. And then again, that's because the exponent on e is approaching negative infinity. And then we have minus five e to the power of negative x. Five e to the power of negative x is approaching positive infinity as x approaches negative infinity. So right now the limit is in the form of infinity divided by, because of this minus, negative infinity, which is an indeterminate form. So once again, we'll look at two methods for determining this limit. 
First, if we know five times e to the power of three x is approaching zero, as x approaches negative infinity, we can ignore that term. Similarly, we can also ignore four times e to the power of three x in the denominator, because that term is also approaching zero. Which means the given limit is equal to the limit of just three times e to the power of negative x divided by negative five times e to the power of negative x as x approaches negative infinity. In this form we can simplify e to the power of negative x divided by itself simplifies to one, leaving us with just a limit of negative three-fifths as x approaches infinity, which of course is equal to negative three-fifths. And now let's look at the second method for determining this limit. In the previous limit, we divided everything by e to the power of three x and then simplified. But for this limit, we know the terms involving e to the power of three x are going to zero or approaching zero, and therefore we'll divide every term by e to the power of negative x this time. We'll have five times e to the power of three x divided by e to the power of negative x plus three e to the power of negative x divided by e to the power of negative x all divided by four e to the power of three x divided by e to the power of negative x minus five e to the power of negative x divided by e to the power of negative x as x approaches negative infinity. And now we simplify. In the numerator, five e to the power of three x divided by e to the power of negative x is five e to the power of four x. Remember, we subtract the exponents. Three x minus negative x simplifies to three x plus x, or four x. And then we have plus e to the negative x divided by itself simplifies to one, leaving us with just three. In the denominator, four e to the three x divided by e to the negative x is four e to the power of four x. And then we have minus five e to the x divided by e to the x is just five. And now we can determine the limit. As x approaches negative infinity, five times e to the power of four x approaches zero because the exponent on e approaches negative infinity. Three is not affected by x. In the denominator, four e to the four x also approaches zero as x approaches negative infinity, and five is not affected by x. The numerator approaches three, the denominator approaches negative five, which gives us a limit of negative three-fifths. I hope you found this helpful.